Hi everyone. So here is my son's portrait baby. I filmed and uploaded his box opening a few days ago and I'm really enjoying having this doll in my collection. He is obviously my most special doll I have ever had in my collection. He is the Lulu Sculpt by Joanna Kazmierzak and he was reborn by the amazing Mandy Marks of Chrysalis Dolls. I've talked about her so many times on my channel and her work just keeps getting more and more amazing. If you ever get a chance to get one of her dolls, you totally should because she is amazing. She's wonderful to work with. Her dolls are always top quality. She is just amazing. <laughs> this little guy is a newborn sized doll. He is like a larger newborn, so he fits in larger newborn and zero to three month. He looks a lot like my son does now and my son started to look more like the Lulu sculpt around three months old, but when he was a newborn, he actually looked nothing like the Lulu sculpt at all. But when my son was three months old and I started seeing this sculpt everywhere, sometimes I would be scrolling through Instagram and it would scare me because I would think that somebody posted a picture of my son and it was actually just a Lulu doll. So that's when I decided that I wanted his portrait doll to be the Lulu sculpt. So what today's video is about is I have a bunch of newborn clothing that used to belong to my son from size newborn all the way up to I think three month that will fit this doll. I wanted a portrait doll of my son because when he's all grown up years from now I wanted to have a beautiful piece of artwork to remember that time of him being a baby because it flies by so quickly he is almost nine months old now. I kept a large portion of my son's newborn clothing and newborn items, and they are over here. I want to show you all everything that I kept that will be used for his portrait doll. I'll go over the um, simpler outfits and what is so special about them, what memories they hold, and um, yeah, I just thought this would be really fun to share. A lot of people on Instagram said they would really like to see this video and I think that this is a good idea to give other moms that if you have some of your baby's newborn um, clothing or if you want to get a bigger doll some of their like three to six month clothing or whatever size if you have your real baby's clothing and you want to have a piece of artwork made so that when they're all grown up or if they are are already grown up then you can have these beautiful pieces of artwork to remember your child's time as a baby. So first of all, this sleeper that he's wearing right now, I changed him into it last night. It's really cute. It's by the Children's Place and it is a zero to three month size, I think. I think it might be newborn. I don't remember exactly. My son got to wear this outfit when he was two days old. I had to squeeze him into it because it is a little bit small and when he was born he was nine pounds two ounces and 22 inches long so he moved right into zero to three month and three month clothing mostly but I was able to squeeze him into a couple of newborn outfits. Here's the first outfit that I wanted to share. This is a really cute sleeper and hat set from H&M in size one to two month. Everett got to wear this on his first night home. It brings back so many memories just to look at it and he got to wear it a lot throughout his first two months. Um, actually, I think he only wore it until he was a month old. I don't remember exactly when he had to stop wearing it, but he used to wear it a lot when he was really little. So it came with a cute little hat. And the hat did not fit him very well. He was just so big, like I said. So the sleeper fit him better than the hat did, and I ended up pairing a blue hat by Copper Pearl with it most of the time. I don't know where that is at the moment, but I do have it, and I do want to put it in this doll's wardrobe to let him wear it sometimes. Let 
This one also brings back so many memories. This is a sleeper by Burt's Bees Baby. I specifically remember Everett wearing this when he was three days old because when he was three days old was the first time when it really, really, really hit me that I had a baby. Um, if you're a mom, you'll probably know what I mean. Sometimes you just, you, you just get hit with all the emotions all at once that you're a mom. And that is what happened to me when my son was three days old. Can't even believe I'm sharing this because it's something so personal and such a special moment to me. But my son was in this, um, I had taken him to a doctor's appointment that morning and everything was great. They were saying that he was at the developmental age of a two to three month old already at just a few days old, which was really, really crazy. They were super impressed with him. Can y'all hear him yelling in the background? He's with his daddy right now <laughs> in the living room. But um, then I brought him home and got him changed, got him fed, and put him in this sleeper because it was a little bit chilly in the house. And he just laid on the bed and just stared at me. And that was when our eyes truly locked for the first time for a long period of time. And that was when I just started crying. <laughs> so um, it's crazy how in moments like that, you just you remember all the little details i remember what blanket he was laying on i remember he was wearing this outfit i just remember it so well so this outfit is very special to me here's a large newborn carter sleeper that he got to wear only twice i think just because it's large newborn and not zero to three or three month he got to wear this, let's see, he was five days old. I remember it was his first Saturday out of the womb and we were listening to the children's Bible hour on the radio in the morning um, and he was just relaxing on the boppy lounger while I was cleaning up his changing station and doing his laundry and he was wearing this little outfit. Oh, and it has a little dinosaur on the back. Here's an outfit by Jimboree that he got to wear quite a few times. I really loved this outfit on him. It was super comfortable. He's just yelling out there. He's probably tired of being in his um, jolly jumper, so Josh will take him out of there in a second, I'm sure. This is by Jimboree. It's a little footless sleeper that can turn into a gown. I never turned it into a gown for him, but he, I specifically remember him wearing this outfit when he was a week old. I just can't believe how much I remember each of these clothing pieces and when he was wearing them. I didn't think that I would remember such little details like that, but I'm really glad that I do. Just trying to get this next outfit here. So this is an outfit that I actually planned on it being his first outfit. But he was such a big boy. I squeezed him into it one time when he was one day old. And I mean he barely fit in it at all. And it just didn't seem quite comfortable for him, so I ended up taking it off after I took a couple of pictures of him in it. He was just in it for a minute. But it's still really cute. It's still really special because my husband and I picked this out for him. I don't even know if this outfit will fit his portrait doll because it is just a normal newborn size. It's not even a large newborn. Here's a summer romper that he used to wear a lot. This is by Jimboree and it's zero to three month. It has a little whale and little waves. I loved this romper on him so, so much. And like I said, he used to wear it quite often. It also has really cute pockets on the back. 
Here is a koala baby romper. And I think that this is in a, yeah, it's in a zero to three month. He got to wear this, I think only once or twice. Yeah, he must have been about a week old. But it's a pretty blue and it says little boss with lightning bolts on it. Here's another summer romper and he got to wear this quite a few times as well. It's by First Impressions and it's a bigger sized romper so I don't know if it will fit his portrait doll because this is more almost like a three month size but it has a little, um, what is this, an English bulldog with the glasses and it says I wake up awesome. Here's a really cute onesie that he got to wear a few times. It says, dreams do come true. This is from H&M and I think this is two to four month. He did not wear this very many times. It was only a couple times. Um, yeah, it was two to four month. But he only got to wear this a couple of times. I just didn't like the way that this was starting to wear in the wash. So I really didn't want him to wear it too much and completely wear it out so that it wouldn't be able to be saved and put it in his memory box. Here is another cute onesie. This is an H&M onesie. He only got to wear this once because again, he grew out of newborn so fast and this is like a larger newborn size. It says, I love mom and it's just a simple side snap onesie. One of my favorite absolute favorite outfits that I got for him and that he got to wear. This is a gown by Lulu and Company. As you all have probably noticed in my videos, I have developed like, um, not an addiction, but I've just really started to love collecting Lulu now. It's so soft and this gown is what started it all. I saw it secondhand. Someone in the Reborn Doll community was selling it on Instagram when I was pregnant with my son and I decided to purchase it and try it out. So glad I did because this is one of my favorite pieces that I saved from when he was a newborn. He got to use this quite a few times and it was super convenient during nighttime when I would just untie the bottom and do his diaper changes that way and then just knot the gown back up. And then I also did some really cute pictures of him in this gown and I just love looking back at them. Here is another very special outfit. This was my son's first church outfit. This outfit was actually sent by a subscriber. I do not remember who sent it because we got so many amazing gifts from so many of you. Um, and. I don't remember who sent it, but whoever did, thank you so much because this piece of clothing has become one of my favorites that I saved to put away in his memory box. It was his first church outfit, which I probably already said, and after we took him to church for the first time, which he slept through the whole thing, then we went out for a walk at the mall and he was in his cute um, Vista bassinet just slept the entire time. It was a wonderful day and a wonderful memory to have so I'm really happy to have this piece of clothing. Here's another cute church outfit that he grew out of pretty quickly. This is a bubble romper. I actually found this bubble romper brand new at the thrift store for like a dollar long before he was born and I had been saving it for if we ever had a little boy um, to wear it to church and now we did. It's really cute, very simple, vintagey looking. I love it. He used to wear this to church when he was a month old. Then of course, I cannot forget the shoes. I used to put these shoes with those little rompers that were for church. I love these shoes. They should fit the Lulu sculpt really well. He actually got to wear these a lot longer than most of the clothing. 
but now he has a really, really, really big feet. So it's actually been a struggle to find shoes for him that fit. Here's a little newborn bib, has a little Noah's Ark on it. I've actually had this bib for, I think, almost my whole six years or almost six years of doll collecting and he got to wear it a few times. Here are two things that we hardly went anywhere without. These are his Ryan and Rose Stage 1 Cutie Pat pacifiers and I bought the matching clips as well when I bought these for him. Um, they're super cute. These ones were in the limited edition Dusty Blue and Almond. Most of my son's newborn photos actually have these in them, but he has never been a huge passy baby. It was just handy when he wasn't feeling well, and um, he would sometimes take it if he was hungry, if we couldn't get him fed like right that second. But he wasn't too big of a passy baby, but he did use them. Here are the last few things I have to show you all. This is a Jelly Cat Lovey. My son loved this and he still uses it from time to time, but he actually has a favorite frog one. So he doesn't like this one quite as much. He just likes, I don't know, I guess it's the big eyes that he likes on the frog one because he likes to look at it and just laugh at it. I don't know. But this one, um, I have kept with my doll stuff recently just because he hasn't been using it as much. And here is a little pair of newborn knee-high socks that he got to wear when he was six days old. That was the first time he wore them and I think he got to wear them a couple more times. And then here is the swaddle blanket that we used with him all the time. This was by, or is by, <laughs> Copper Pearl. And it had the matching hat with it. I just, I think I've already mentioned this in this video, but I can't find the matching hat at the moment. I'm sure I will soon. But we really enjoyed this blanket and we hardly went anywhere without it. Especially if it was getting close to him needing a nap. So sometimes I would swaddle him in his stroller bassinet and he would sleep through grocery shopping or whatever if he needed a nap at that time. But anyway, that is all of the clothing and baby items that I saved from when Everett was a newborn that I can now use for his portrait doll. I hope you all enjoyed this video and my camera is dying, so perfect timing. I will be doing a lot more videos with this doll coming up very soon. I hope you all enjoyed this video and thanks for watching everyone.